Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're watching Transport Fever 2 on the Dune Canyon map. The desert planet of Arrakis has many shapeless features for you to observe, this being one of them. And it's a highly dramatic route through some kind of gorge kind of behaviour kind of thing. And, uh, oh, we have not seen this before, have we? No. Evidently what I'm showing you here is something that I'm going to build today. So perhaps I should get on and build it. So as you can plainly see, three seasons ago, I, I'm, I don't know if, I'm, if seasons is right or not, but that's what we're going with. Uh, we were down 96, well, let's call it what it is, 97 million on the year. Yeah, yeah, we were. I'm going straight in, people. Come on, keep up. Uh, but then the uh, the season after that, we did uh, we did almost 10 million. Now that's down from uh, from kind of 12 to 13 that we were quite happily cooking with previously. Hang on, hijack this right on board. Um, yeah, 12 to 13 we were doing previously. So uh, so that put a big dent in the old bucket of slush funds there. Now uh, as is as is relatively normal, I've I've let it run for a couple of. This is quite a nice view, isn't it? Why not? I don't pause and actually, you know, soak it in very often, but here I am, soaking it in, and it's quite nice. Into the tunnel. Ooh, rabbits, rabbits, rabbits. <laughs> that will resonate with maybe one of you. Um, yeah, no, so, yes, bit of a dent in the, uh, in, the, in the proceedings, partly because those new Alcos, they have quite a hefty running cost. And, uh, and then, of course, because I'm running fewer of them, uh, we're not making anywhere near as much uh, as many much green as we were doing previously. I, I'm, I'm hoping the exit to this tunnel, which is making everybody dizzy around about now, uh, will yield uh, a view to behold. Well, I mean, whether it's a good view or not is neither here nor there, but it should be a view. Let's have a look. What do we got? Yeah, it's maybe a little bit Spartan. <laughs> what were you expecting? Uh, you know, you're expecting lush forests, uh, uh, herds of wildebeest swooping majestically across the Serengeti, perhaps. There you go, you'll either get that or you won't. Right, let's move on, because uh, today we're going to be uh, tackling our first freight endeavour. As you can see, I'm uh, three and a half million in the hole, won't stay that way. Uh, I've paid down the loan by about, I don't know, about 20 million-ish, I guess. Um, I'll be taking that straight back out again, because unless I get some money, uh, this is uh, going to be a real short trip. So, uh, uh, hard to say for sure. Um, yeah, let, I, let's find a quick Alco just to see how it's doing. 79 of 114. It's 3.2 million quid in profit. That's that's pretty good. And if we look at the line list overall, come here. Line list overall. Scroll out. There you go. Uh, currently, a couple of commuter services are losing money. That's fine. They serve the greater good. So, that's that's adequate but at the top end of the equation the uh, the main line there is uh, is kicking out six million a year actually quite a bit more than that evidently all my trains are between stations at the moment that'll that'll work that's okay that'll 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 sort itself out now were those trains not 36 million quid a pop uh, i'd buy a few more of them but they are 36 million quid a pop and therefore no so uh i don't know what you're gonna do uh the the, the, the hollywood pasadena branch line it's it's scraping by on a, on a smidge of profit, but not not an epic amount. Anyway, this uh, this new goods line, it should uh, it should do the numbers. I'd, uh, I'm very optimistic that it will. There we go. We've got six million in the bank now. That should uh, that should cover me for some building costs. Obviously, until I have to pay the running costs on those locos, in which case th that'll take a bit of a hit. So I expect this to fluctuate quite wildly for the moment. Here is the route that we have planned. We will leave St. Petersburg, yeah, and uh, why have we got St. Petersburg? This is the supposedly American cities. Whatever. Uh, we, we will leave St. Petersburg, and, uh, and we will snake our way under this bridge. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Um, and then we'll stop at the lumber camp here, and then we'll head out from the lumber camp to the sawmill here, and then we'll head from the sawmill out to the tool factory, and then back to the beginning where we sell the tools couldn't be any easier than that now once we manage to get once we then connect st pete's up to the uh, the mainline station at westminster then we might see some action uh vis-a-vis -vis things moving to places the the whole principle that i'm going to be working on eventually is uh these branches are all going to be shuttle based 
uh, so in and out of uh, in and out of the center so this line i'm setting up now i might not leave it as is uh, so we might do lumber down to Westminster only for it to then be picked up again and taken to the sawmill. We've got more lumber coming in. So, you know, that's a that's a thing that might happen. Uh, and then the same with tools. So there'll be a whole lot of in and out. The thinking being that each uh, freight station on the main line ends up holding quite a lot of materials. Don't know. We'll see. Now then, where do we start here? Well, we start by getting the track up and uh, let's... Let's see how much this is going to hurt. All right, well, we go down. Yeah, but the original line went down. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ah, indeed. Well, okay. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We could double track this and then run a, a spur out from there that, uh, that emerges that way. Hmm. Yes, I don't think it, I don't think there's any other way of doing it other than something that swerves out that way quite dramatically, then swerves back on itself, and I don't think that's that's particularly efficient. So uh, so let's uh, let's grab a bit here and go as far as there. Now, eventually, I'll probably uh, well, eventually, I'll double track underneath the uh, underneath the, the tunnel there. So uh, so that will be a that'll be a thing that happens. What's what's gone on here? Could you not could you not marry up a little bit more tidily than that? I'm sure you can. Uh, let's uh, let's give that another. Let's, let's float that boat another time, shall we? Uh, right, grab that and come this way. There you go. See, look, that's nicer. It's still going to do it though. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I mean, the the option would be to increase the embankment area a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, right. I don't because we want it to be somewhat neat. The train's just left. We're all good. Uh, terrain tools, flattener, let's boogie. All right, grab from here, and then just about there should probably do the trick. Uh, it's not an inexpensive thing to do. No, 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 no. Do the other one. Uh, like that. Over to there. Good. No, you don't recognize the other bridge type that we've been using? No, no, maybe if I, if I offer you a little bit of assistance there, you'll figure it out. Well, well done. All right, then we'll come out over here and take it to there. And then, oh, someone just moved in. Hello? I built a car park. No, oh, aren't you a marvel? Uh, right, and then stick that on. Mm. Can I? Yeah, there we go. I thought there was a little bit left over. And right, grab that, grab this, grab that, do this. Peachy. Okay, yeah, it's got a 37 mile per hour speed limit, but it's going to be a freight train, and it's going to be slowing down and or speeding up at that point anyway, so everything's fine. Uh, right, take this as far as there. We do not want to be investing in a ruddy great tunnel today. And then we'll take our points here. No, you won't. Okay, we'll take our points here. Yeah. All right. Out. Oh. Ah. Well, look. If it wasn't going to make an enormous amount of money, I wouldn't be doing it. Uh, so uh, this is a uh, a temporary solution, as as illustrated mere moments ago. We will be replacing this later on with something else. But uh, right now, we want to do this. Right. One platform high speed. Yes. Although it's incredibly unlikely we'll do high speed, given that I'm going to be running the tiny little Alco shunter on here. Uh, partly because that's that's all that's really warranted, uh, but equally partly because it's, it's great. I, I really like it. Now, will you, t you will tendril up to the back end there. All right, that's good. Now, I could make a heck of a lot more money off this by, uh, by just running trucks uh, and, and shuttling between each point. Um, because that would also allow me to load balance a little. Now, I might end up doing that with um, uh, with trains, actually. We could just shuttle lumber up to there, shuttle back this way, but you've still got tools to account for afterwards. Let's leave that one in the pending column, shall we? Well, we are doing, so, uh, so you know, that, it, it wasn't really up for debate. i just like to make you feel like you're involved occasionally. Uh, right, let's bang that in here and then... Uh, Slap that on there, and we've got coverage. 300 grand. No. Bring a, bring it. no, wait, other button. Uh, bring that one up a bit. Can we, can we, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To about there, and then, no, you've, you've jumped down. All right, well, okay, it is what it is. Do you want this to have double track? Not right now. Maybe later. Maybe later we will add double track. 
Also, can the track that you're bringing down from the mountainside actually reach this? Don't know. Uh, yes, is the answer. There you go. There are many answers I could have chosen. Yes is the correct one. Hold on. No is the correct one. Well, what? Yeah, I'm afraid not. No, you can't have it. Oh, no. Um, hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. You got any other solutions up your sleeve? I know, we could do that and then try it again. Yeah, because it worked that well the first time. How, much, how far are we short? Oh, it's a, it's a good jump. We're short by uh, that much. Bum. All right, okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know if this is going max downhill or not. So if we if we uh, get rid of that again, and uh, and then we grab uh, grab this, and let's try and do it in one and see what uh, see what transpires. So if we go from there, yeah, I know it's a really slow junction, and then rounds onto this. No, you can't have it. Well, look, it's there's not enough. Oh, hold on. It's okay. No, I've got an idea. Um. I was going to say, there's not enough room to warrant doing a helix there. Uh, there just there just is not. So we're going to do something not quite helicid. Uh, helicid? Look, it's a it's a thing. All right, just just run with it. Uh, right. Yeah. Oh, oh, we, we've got a cheeky tunnel. Oh, oh my good. Oh, it's, it couldn't be any better. Now it's very slow, but uh, but that's okay. And then we'll then we'll snake it in through there. You see. That's a, that's, a, that's a good one, that one. But actually, we'll snake it through the next one. I don't know if there's enough... I don't know if there's enough headroom. We'll find out. Oh, 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 properly saucy. Yes. Oh, no, I like that. That's good. That, yeah, just in case you hadn't realised. Uh, yeah, that's that's made my day. That has, that's, that's rather splendid. It's kind of a... Uh, it's a bit of a trumpet going on. Just ever so... It's a hint of trumpet. Um, right, okay, so next stop is here. Now, what I don't want to be doing is building my station so that I've got a massive climb to do. We've got a bit of a climb to get up to there, uh, but it shouldn't be, wait for it, massive. Yes. And thinking about it now, I think I am going to need multiple lines to make this work because uh, it, it depends on what the, the consist is uh, is going to need to be for each each leg of the of the battle uh right do you want to angle that yep there you go have some angle is that enough yeah that's that's a good enough angle all right stick that there would well, let's double track this now uh given the, the the incredible likelihood in fact let's make it a bit longer as well i don't think you're going to need it that long doesn't matter i'm paying i'm paying up front so i don't have to pay up later I might have to pay up later, but I'm, I'm paying up front right now. Uh, and then if you crow fly your way up there, what do we end up with? Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bridge pillar collision. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I just want to make sure you can actually get the connection. You can. Ah, good. All right. Yeah, that's, uh, I wouldn't have chosen to, to viaduct it, but then I rarely choose to viaduct it. The option would be to, uh, to kind of, go along the go out that way a little bit further and then swing in last minute to avoid viaduct let's try that okay uh in fact let's try it from the other end because uh i mean we're already at a reasonably high level of inefficiency here uh we might as well uh we might as well just embrace it and and see if it can't get us something that looks nicer yeah do that get rid of that road no road no not permitted um and then uh swoop you along the cliffside going gently uphill down a cheeky tunnel and you know i'm a sucker for him all right and then round to there like that okay so we dropped to 85 we've avoided the viaduct quite nicely we have tunneled a bit more than i'd like hmm is the tunnel necessary there? I mean, I could turn the ugly on and and, uh, and ascertain it for certain. Uh, what, how much is this going to cost extra to to gouge? I like a gouge as well as a, as well as a cheeky tunnel. Yeah, I mean that's a monster of a gouge. That one. It is. Uh, 
I mean, it's going to require, you know, I think that might, with, a, with just a dab of smoothing gun around the outside, I think that might look interesting. And it's certainly not what I would normally build. Um, Canyon is in the name of the title of the show of the series of the lump in the track. Uh, there you go. There's a lump in the track that I'm now fixing by hand. Uh, those of you who like to go, well, if you would only insist on pressing the right button at the right time, that will obviously... That would be terrific. Now's your cue. There you go. Uh, I shall ignore it, as I always do. But as long as it makes you feel happy, then we're all good here. Uh, right, now then, drop the brush size a little bit. And then this, this could end up going quite wonky. So, you know, brace yourselves. Uh, a bit more brush. There you go. Right, do just a dab. There you go. That's it. We just want to get rid of this jaggy top bit. And then we'll do the jaggy other side as well. Smooth out that a bit. There. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, obviously, if I had my brush strength down, brush strength down a little, uh, this would... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that looks good. Uh, and uh, a time permitting, we'll definitely do a bit of a ride on them for this one. In fact, I can't rule out that I won't use it as the uh, as the intro to the show. In fact, by now, you know the answer to that already. Uh, but I don't, because I record the intro to the show at the end of the show. It's, uh, it's some newfangled time dilation teasery type behavior. All right, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of this. That's come out. That's come out quite nicely. It's still a little bit, a uh, little bit jagged, like you've used a cheese grater on it. But that's okay. All right, take that bit out as well. Now there is a strong argument to be made for that's not really a great use of your cash, though, is it? I go, it flipping is. It's that's that's lovely. It's you know what we're doing here is is applying a little bit of wind-based erosion here on the desert world of Arrakis. There you go. That. I like. Okay, cool. Pressing on. I don't like this. All right, well, fix it. Are you not just pushing? Are you not just kicking that can down the road? No, no, no. I fixed it. That's a bit off as well. Really? Oh, don't you? You know, you're, you're endeavouring to try and keep these series this series a little shorter than normal. Ah, shut up. Right. Okay. There we go. So that's the next one done, and then we've just got a terminus to place up here. Now, I mean, and you go like, really, a terminus? Yeah, there's there's nothing for miles in any direction. So uh, terminus is what it what it's all about. Uh, fling a bit of road up there. Why are you using urban road? Well, it's the first one in the list, and it does the job. Uh, I mean, if people want to move in here, I couldn't be more thrilled. But I very much doubt that it's going to happen. Uh, right instinct, wrong menu. There you go. Right, stick this on here. This only needs single track. Whiz it around like that. Tendrils, please. And we're there. Okay, now then, we're pointing in an appropriate direction. Oh, actually, that's that's a pretty good direction. Now then, what are we going to get here? Are we going to get a bit of a mountainside pass kind of a deal, or are we going to get a cheeky tunnel? Uh, it seems to be lending itself toward a cheeky tunnel from the get-go here, so uh, we'll see what's what. There we go. And there, there she blows. And then hook up onto there. Hold on. It's, uh, it's giving me the runaround as these things can tend to do. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no runaround to be had here. There you go. Everything is glorious. Give it appropriate. In fact, do we? No, nah, no, nah, keep it. No. Choose. Iron. Okay. All right, fine. Now, do you want to change your mind on that and run it down here and do a bend at the end? No, 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 no. no. That's fine. A cheeky tunnel is uh, is enough for me to be cheerful. Uh, and that's uh, that's grand. Now then, let's talk roots, shall we? Okay, what would you like to talk about roots-wise? So the choices are one train running a mixed consist uh, from St. Pete's to the lumber yard, picks up lumber over here, no, picks up timber, turns it into lumber, and uh, and then uh, turns it Roseville. Where the heck is Ro Mm, okay, you've just chosen your own naming convention there, clearly. Uh, what? Yes, picks up the lumber, drags it out here. That turns it in at some tools. All right, a pair of these, I believe, turns it into one tool. No, it's only one. But it's a pair of uh, timber to make one lumber. But this is a one-to-one -one ratio. 
So what you would do if you were running efficiently here is you'd run a, a double stack out there to turn it into a one, which then comes out here. You've then got to bring it all back again. And jobs are good. And now the only thing I need to just fix before we move on to this next critical phase here is uh, is make sure that we've got these two lines talking to each other once. They don't need to. This is nice. I like that. Uh, you don't need to talk to each other any more than once, of course, because uh, once we uh, embed the train up here, it's never going to come this way again. You fancy doing that? I really don't. Okay. What about on the bridge? I mean, we don't do this kind of thing very often, but uh, once in a while, does no harm. As long as it doesn't make the bridge ugly. Okay, yeah, that's fine. All right, there we go. Yeah. No, built it. That's a thing that... Built it? Where are you from? Who are you? Are you, you pretending to be spiffing or something? Pronounce your words correctly. Um, right, okay. That's just... Well, now then. Uh, what's the uh, what's the next gambit that we've got here? Well, you also need to connect Westminster up to the main line so that you can actually situate the thing correctly in the first place. Yes, now you can... Oh, hold on. No, 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 no. We can do it from over there. Just double double check you've uh, double flipped and switched and uh, whatnot your your switches here. That's already double switched. That's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's see. So let's make sure they've actually been done. No, see that one hasn't been done. I don't think we need it, but you know you want to make sure you've you've ticked all the boxes. Otherwise, you haven't. Right. Okay. Good. Now then, we're going to go up to the shed. Uh, I am running a one depot approach just for the time being. Later on, don't know, but I think we'll run maybe one depot per side of map uh, to keep things, uh, you know, um, uh, exciting. Yes, there it could be. Uh, right, say hello to my new little friend. All right, okay, so what we got here? We want diesels. I want, oh, we could use the GP9. Arguably, arguably more useful. 1958 came into service. It only came into service last year. This one came in at 1930. Right. And your point is, uh, I don't really have one, so to speak. Let's add one of those. We might need more than one. Depends how long a consist we go for. Um, are we going to run multi-routes or are you going to run a single? I don't know. I don't know. What's the best way to go with this? Have a look at the wagons and see what they carry. You should know this off by heart, but of course you don't. Right, okay. Tools live in boxcars. That's unhelpful. Uh, flat cars will do everything else. So you're going to want uh, two lots of uh, flat cars yeah, to one lot of boxcars to maintain the perfect ratio. I say you're perfect. Uh, right. Right, little shunter hasn't got the grunt for this. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to add another one. <laughs> How much is a GP9 out of interest? 4.8. Now, it's a bit quicker, but I'm I'm uh, I'm very much in the mood for, uh, for double stacking one of these because uh, that would be great. Now, if when double stacking it would flip one round the other way, that would be terrific. But, you know, I don't, I don't mind. Um, right, now, which order do you want to go in? Box cars at the back or at the front? Let's put them at the front. Uh, so if we go for one, two, three, four, yeah, five. There you go, 60. So we're going to need 10 of these, assuming they also carry 12, which they do. Hold on, we've got, uh, we've got, we've got more available. These ones are capable of 50. What's me, what's me loco do? 50. We don't need the better ones. Uh, let's, let's go with the old stuff. There's, there's no need in uh, in doing this. So we if we, we went with five of those, we need ten of these. I think that's right. Did that feel right to you? Felt right to me. Uh, psh, oh, whatever. I think that's probably right. Let's buy it. It's 11 million quid. Crikey. Um, yeah, buy it now. Now you're gonna be you're gonna be paying out for that for a moment or two while you set the route up. We're gonna go with one train on this route to start with, just to kick it off. And it's a very, 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 very long way away. Uh, but uh, you know, but we're, we're going to ride it, cowboy, and uh, and that'll be that'll be jolly. Uh, new line. Have you got any points problems likely to occur here? No, because this is this is all single track. 
I mean, it's it's double track, but the the backing services, you know, yeah, yeah, all of that. Right. Okay. New line. Step one, that one, St. Pete's. Step two, this one, Petersburg Sidings. That one, yeah. This could not be better laid out if it tried. And then it's all the way straight back to St. Pete's to drop off the tools. All right. Let's just make sure it's not doing anything wacky over here. It's not grand. Um, right. So this is going to be, I don't know, St. Pete's, which is Peter. Uh, tools line tools manufacturing oh that's a, that's a jolly way of describing it right get back to the depot don't know vehicle manager there you go right go to the depot 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 road uh, train there it is this assign it to that one right okay now get out there if I double click this, can I go there? Yes, you can. Right, close this, because we want to watch it emerge, obviously. And here we go. Smashing. Now, you know what? I'm I'm fairly tempted, uh, rather than uh, replacing this with multiple units, you make that honking sound, my friend, is, uh, is to continue extending the length of the train and just keep adding more of these little shunters to it. I mean, I could. That's the thing I'll do. This is going to completely wreck all traffic on the uh, on the main line. And I'm very much hoping it decides to go over onto the correct side of the track, which it is doing. My uh, my hopes and fears there were, were completely unwarranted. Right, let's pay all of this down into the loan. Uh, I mean, it's only we're only losing about 600 grand a year. But that's 600 grand a year we don't need to be losing. Here we go. We did 14 million two, uh, two seasons ago. That's pretty good. Yeah, that is pretty good. Right. Okay, there we go. Let's uh, let's watch this for a moment and I'll skip ahead for you. Because uh, uh, we've got quite an arduous journey ahead of us. And we don't necessarily... There's something very odd going on here. Looks translucent, but it means that the train's translucent. It's rather like clipping through the mountain. And, uh, and watching the innards of the train, where uh, it turns the trains transparent on the way. There you go. See, it looks good like that, except there's no train. He stood there going, I don't really understand what's going on. Um, I'm on board some kind of phantom, phantasmagorical uh, train service thing, kind of business, kind of behavior. Right, good. Uh, don't go anywhere. Well, uh, I'll catch you up at the other end, shall I? Good. All right, so we're picking up the action just outside Westminster, uh, which is where the points lie to take us to St. Petersburg. Uh, we've just had to wait there for a minute or two while uh, the passenger service did its swing through the station kind of a thing. Um, now, it, it's probably testimony to... Uh, or testament? Testimony? Testament. It is testament. Uh, it's testament to the uh, uh, the few... Uh, no, the, the low quantity of trains that I'm running on the main line at the moment is that uh, we haven't held anybody up at all. We haven't seen another train. We were behind a passenger train originally, uh, but now nowhere nowhere to be seen. Uh, I think we've had one sail past us, uh, but we've been doing a mighty 50 miles per hour the entire time, whereas those, uh, those passenger services, they'll do 110, 112, something like that. Um, and uh, they, yeah, we're, uh, never the twain have met. This is quite an attractive little downhill slope we've got going on here. Yeah, it's quite nice. It's quite severe, but it's, uh, it's still quite pleasant. Uh, I'll tell you what, actually, I want to get over here, and then something like this. We'll just situate ourselves to uh, to watch this one sail past. In as much as trains sail. I don't know. Um, good, right, so we're going to head out to St. Petersburg, then flip it around the other way and uh, and head back to glory. Oh, yes, just look at that go. That's great, isn't it? Isn't that great? Uh, now, while that's, while that's in motion, it's not going to do anything exciting for a moment, so, uh, so we'll take advantage of, uh, of the, the, the pause in... Uh, in what do you mean I haven't got enough money? Oh, OK, I haven't got enough money. I, th I thought I was sat on a couple of million there a moment ago. You were. You, you had to pay for some stuff. Oh, OK. But uh, no, we'll just, uh, we'll just enact a little bit of smoothing action on here. Just, you know, calm it all down a bit and bring it all a little bit, you know, a little bit closer to to what I like the looks of. Yeah, okay, no, that's, that's fine. 
You've got 200 grand. You're not going to be doing much more of that. Oh, where are we up to? Going past the lumber camp. There you go. That's another, another view for you. It's quite nice, isn't it? Not quite nice. Obviously, it's not. It's not that visible if you're watching on a mobile phone or something. But, uh, but if you're not watching on a mobile phone, you've got a sizable screen. That's quite nice. There's some actual trees, look. They only exist to be cut down, but, you know, they are there nonetheless. Does this tunnel entrance require a little bit of TLC? Oh, not really. This, uh, this angle doesn't look particularly groovy, but this bit's okay. Although, I'm going to interfere with it anyway. There we go. That's, that's all good. Right, get ahead of it. And there we go. Right around here. Let's make sure that this is looking, uh, looking fat. Does it look? I've got six million quid in the bank again now. I won't have in a couple of minutes. It'll have, it'll have vanished again. It'll have been stolen from me by... Uh, oh, that's a very interesting thing to the texture when you're smooth. It's like the texture floats for a moment. Uh, it's not doing it now. It will do it again, I'm sure of it. It'll catch me off guard. Don't worry, it, it, it's working. It's just an interesting optical effect. Uh, right, there you go. It's just... There you go. All right, should be, uh, should be emerging. Should be. Now, of course, the passenger service is currently waiting to go back on the single track, uh, but it's going to be waiting for a moment because uh, I'm using it. So uh, it can whistle for the moment. If, as a, uh, a diesel service, as a whistle rather than uh, some kind of... There you go. Some kind of hooter. Down to 25 million owed now. It took the best part of a year uh, in, uh, in time use as opposed to just shut up uh to uh, to get us situated here but now that we are then we should be awesome okay yeah no this is fine no it's single i keep thinking you must be blocking some points here somewhere but i'm not there are no points to be blocked now then are we actually getting any catchment here over the tools facility uh, if I click on this, does it show the tools? It doesn't show it doesn't show requirements. Uh, that's annoying. It is a little bit. Uh, no, it's not gonna. It's not gonna show you the, the, the. I'm sure there was a button that you can press with it that it would just it would just show that. Oh no, it was. It's when you place a station, it does it. Anyway, if we turn that on, yeah, but you see now I can't see what I've got catchment of. Oh yeah, good point. All right, so if we if we mentally make a note, it's a little bit over here, mostly in this kind of bracket here. Now, chances are, once I once I actually start delivering, uh, this will uh, encourage a little bit of growth out this way. You never know. All right, and we've got most of it. We've missed out on some of these. In fact, it's all commercial buildings, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, you miss a few, and you certainly miss those ones. But there's going to be more than enough. To look at how this has come on. Oh, lovely. And uh, the AI has chosen stuck a bit of road in there as well. That's, that's fabulous. This, not quite so fabulous. I don't think I can do anything about that either. We'll have a, we'll have a waft of the smoothing gun here, but I don't think it's going to accomplish much. It hasn't. We've just got some ugly. We've got a rotating German poster. Good. Well, I didn't know they spoke German here on the desert world of Arrakis, but apparently they do. Right, here we go. We've made up. We're either making or have made or something. There we go. Picking up. Look. Groovy. Full load. Very nice. 120 of your logs on the train. All right. Let's uh, let's hop on. No, let's actually hop on. There we go. Right. There we go. That's going to wrap it up. Yeah, no, no, we're there. Uh, with the logs waiting, obviously it's going to start producing some lumber. Now, it won't produce enough lumber to do a full load the first time out. We might, if we're lucky, get one or two bits of lumber uh, because we'll be waiting long enough for that to actually turn around. That's okay. It's no problem. It adds up over time. When we return for our second jaunt, there should be some, uh, some lumber waiting for us. It really comes down to how much that... Uh, that, that lumber mill is going to sawmill is uh, is going to knock out and whether it's going to hold on to some uh, some trees for a bit later yeah yeah i know i can see it i see it i see it i'm not thrilled about that either no it's not good all right fix it all right yeah fix it all right anyway i'm in kernel failure i'm gonna do a bit of smoothing gun you'll have seen the next bit anyway at the, at the start of the video because i've decided already that's what i'm going to show you 
I'll be back very soon. What are we going to do next? I like to leave a note of what we're doing next because I always listen to the tail end of the video to uh, to figure out what I'm going to do next. Well, what makes sense? I think we're going to wait and see and see how this one pays off. Wait and see and see. Ah, nice. Uh, see how this pays off. It will make money. And there's no doubt in my mind that's going to make some cash. Uh, we've got the passengers all hooked up. We could do another passenger branch, but to be honest, I think if we were to grab these, yeah, and route them via a little alco, oh, I like it. We route these three via a little alco into St. Pete's. Yeah. Finish the double track, right, and then use a, a GP9 to uh, to run that out to Westminster. Fun. What's it going to actually carry? Nothing at all, because there there's nowhere that demands it. Are you sure? Well, I know we'll get some coal going out to the steel mill, but that's it. It won't do any more than that. Okay, but then once we've got the hook up with Westminster, as soon as we start running the uh, the freight main line, Westminster will start distributing. Probably. Anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back next time with more of the same. Uh, you've been a delight. I'll oh, go on. How much is it carrying? One. See, told you it would. Not much, but a little. Right. Okay. I'll uh, I'll catch you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, because uh, I find it particularly helpful. I like it when my number is a little bit higher in week two than it was in week one. If that makes me vain or uh, or in other way, uh, whatever. Look, that's what I want. I want the number to go up a little bit, all right? You have it within your power, assuming you are a fresh person. If you are not a fresh person, then you don't have it in your power. Right, catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheerio! Well, there you have it. Ah, freight. It's a thing. It's happening. And uh, frankly, I'm surprised I didn't spot this line earlier on because it's a doddle. This one is, uh, I mean, you couldn't have. Uh, yeah, you could. You, you could have, but you couldn't ask for uh, uh, a more, li more line suited to profit making chain goods freight business action. No, you couldn't. And, uh, and I haven't. And but yet I have. So there's that then. And that's good. For more coherent nonsense, why not tune in next time where, uh, uh, I don't know what, I'll, well, I'll probably hook this back up to the uh, the mainline station there, and, and from there on in, nothing but profit and sunny days on the desert planet of Arrakis. Come back soon, won't you? Please. They can't all be winners. <laughs>